Hey guys, and welcome back. Now, we went over eliminating pop flies, the hand path drill, to make sure that we start getting that over exaggeration where the hand path goes down and then we start leveling it out. Well, now we're going to take it a step further. We're going to make sure that we are maintaining good mechanics while we're doing that. And I'm going to show you guys a very small adjustment you can make to the drill to make sure your transition stays perfectly clean. Let's go ahead and get started. Guys, we got a ton of great content coming out this year, and if you don't want to miss out, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That's the only way you can get notified. Also, hit that thumbs up button. That really helps us grow the channel, and if you have any comments, leave them in the comment section below. Sula so would love to hear from you. All right, so if you guys haven't seen the Eliminate Pop Flies video, you guys want to check that out so you can get a full explanation on how this drill works and how the hand path works. Because uh, just a brief explanation, we start off where we put a marker down on the ground, and we put it really close to the tee. And we make sure that our hand path is going to allow us to hit the ball at the marker. So it's going to be an over-exaggerated hand path without doing anything weird. And then we systematically move the marker further and further out so that our hand path goes from this to more level to more level to, to where it gets right on par with where we want to be. So now that's great. We've got our hand path where we want it. We've got the pop flies eliminated because if we do that, we will eliminate our we will give ourselves the best opportunity to hit the ball sharp, hard line drives, hard ground balls, backspin line drives, and eliminate the uh, the chance of us hitting the bottom of the ball, which leads to a pop-up. So what happens a lot of times is we get this drill. Let's say we have this marker directly in front of the tee. So there's a straight line running up through center field. It's hitting the tee and the marker. Well, something that can happen, and if you run into this issue, it's going to be really good to know about, is that we can start throwing the bat out just in order to get the hand path to go down. Because all we want to do in the first progression is get this ball to hit somewhere near our marker. So it's very easy to throw the bat away from us and not get into the nice transition that we talk about in the Pro Speed Baseball hitting system in, in, the, bat, in the Pro Speed Bat Lag section, where we want to make sure that the bat is going to transition, where this bat is splitting the shoulder in half as the hands are going out to the ball. That puts us in a position, an angle to release the bat so that we can max out our ability to hit the ball solid and our speed. Well, if we throw the bat out, we lose all of that. So what we can do to make sure that we are working on our hand path and maintaining our transition is a very simple adjustment where we just take our marker and we move it a little bit more to our opposite field. So I'm going to do the same drill. I'm just going to put the, the marker just a little bit further to the opposite field. So that would be right field for uh, right-handed hitters. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to we're going to get in our normal setup and without cheating by turning our shoulders and aiming that way we're going to just simply hit the ball at our marker to our opposite field and as you can see this is going to make me have to get into a transition so that I can hit the ball to the opposite field so this is a little bit of a of a, just a short term fix to make sure that we're still getting our transition so what I'm going to do right there I barely hit just in front of that so I would count that but my transition was good because I was making sure that my hands were, I was trying to hit the ball this way. What trying to hit the ball to the opposite field does, it's going to make your hand path go more in this direction to the opposite field, which is going to allow you to shallow out the bat right into the max bat lag position. Again, if I'm trying to hit the ball over here, I could have the tendency just to throw the ball out. But again, just like the regular progression, we don't want to keep moving it out into right field. We don't want to overdo this too much. So kind of keep it into a straight line where you started from. So let's just say the first the first progression from the first drill that's straight in front of the tee is two feet in front of the tee. I'm going to be two feet in front of the tee, but I'm going to be roughly two feet over as well with the marker. Now I'm going to keep this marker in the same line that I had it on. I'm not going to keep moving it over. So I'm going to do my two steps and I'm going to put the marker back down and I'm going to repeat the drill. And I still have a slightly opposite field hit. And I am literally trying to get very specific, again, without cheating, hit it right at my marker. Oh man, I actually hit it. <laughs> That's uh, perfect, my transition was good. And now, if you do hit your marker, you can just come back out here, reset it. You can see about two feet, it doesn't have to be perfect. Give yourself a couple more steps. We still have a slightly opposite field uh, intent on this hit. And again, it's not that we're trying to hit it to the opposite field on purpose. It's just making sure we're maintaining our transition. So again, I've got the marker just a little bit further out. And I'm going to make sure I'm trying to hit it right at the marker. That's going to allow me to get into my transition. 
Okay, so you can see there, I try to do this. This is what happens when you start moving the, the marker further out. You start hitting the ball better and better because your hand path gets zeroed out. But not only was my hand path zeroed out, I know my transition was good because my intent was to go a little bit this way and that allowed the bat to get into the max lag position. So guys, use the first video drill where we have the, 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 the marker straight in front of the tee to make sure that you get your hand path because we got to get to the first step before we get to the next step. We want to make sure that we go ahead and get that out of the way. If by chance your transition gets off, go ahead and repeat the drill, just moving it to your opposite field just a little bit and your transition will stay sharp and your hand path will zero out to get you right back on track to eliminate pop flies and start hitting those balls, piercing line drives, backspin line drives, and hard ground balls. So if you ever get into a little funk hitting pop flies, just go ahead and throw this drill into your practice session and have a lot of fun getting back on track because it gets you back there right away. Now, once you've eliminated those pop flies and you want to make sure the rest of your swing is looking good, I'd highly recommend checking out the Pro Speed Baseball hitting system. And I got a great bonus video for you. I'm actually going to play you a preview of one of those videos at the end of this that you can get instant access to the entire video by simply clicking on the iCard popping up in the top portion of your screen or in the link in the description below. Go ahead and check that out, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. I'm going to now start showing how our weight shift is involved with the release of the bat. We just simply need to understand exactly where we want to be in our weight shift. So we're going to get a lot more specific. We're going to be talking about the timing of getting the back pocket in front of the tee at the same time we're hitting the ball. But the first thing we need to do, guys, is we need to rep this out and make sure that we can definitely get the weight transfer that we need. So we're going to put our arms across our chest. We're going to get at least 100 repetitions 